What's going on, y'all? It's Donnie. Quick analysis video. Listen, man. New York Knicks are for real. And we're a good team. Play good basketball. We understand what we want to do as a unit. And a lot of the times, you know what I'm saying? It's getting down to the point of just making the right decision. Hold on. Let me move on over here. Okay. So I can read the stats to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to start making the right decisions. And I think we've been we've been starting to do that more and more. You know what I'm saying? We're starting to make the right decisions more and more. If I just read the box score to you, in 38 minutes, RJ had 20 points, even though he didn't start the game good. You know what I'm saying? He didn't start the game good, but he finished good. You know? And this is a product of the team being a cohesive unit. You know, between Randall, Brunson, and RJ on the starting unit, I'm telling you, these guys are creating chemistry, you know. Jalen Brunson being our point guard now has completely changed the dynamic of this team in a good way, you know. It has completely changed the dynamic as to where we can have someone that runs the ball, runs the floor, is the floor general, make the passes when he needs to, and score also. That's what you need. That's what you want, right? You don't want to constantly have the ball in RJ's hands or Randall's hands. You want to have the ball in somebody's hands that is going to make a play for us. And I think we've done a really good job of just identifying when we need to pass the ball, you know, when we need to slow it down, when we need to speed it up. And it, it will get better and better over time. These are the games that we would have lost last year, you know what I'm saying? Even Mitchell Robinson today, I thought he played great, by the way. So Mitchell Robinson, we have... Six rebounds for 14 points. He always he seemed to get the timely rebounds today. The timely rebounds when we needed him, he was there. He was active. You know, he looks so much fitter. He looks, he looks like he's just he's just totally transformed himself. Lost the weight again, and he is just, you know, the guy that we wanted him to be. You know, um, next I want to go to Evan Fournier. Honestly, I don't think Evan Fournier even fits on this team. We need to find a way to get rid of Evan Fournier, to be honest with you, because I don't really think that Evan Fournier is a guy that I want to see here long-term anyway, you know? So I do think that we need to decide what we want to do with him, because I honestly believe it's going to be between Grimes and, and um, Cam Reddish for the three position. It's really not Fournier. Fournier really doesn't have a place on this team. Even when he's bringing shooting-wise, we can get replaced from, from, from Grimes, RJ, and and even Cam or even Obi from time to time, you know what I'm saying? Which I will get to in a second, Obi Toppin. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's what it's really got to be, that third position. I think I'm, I'm, I really want Cam Reddish to get that position because I think ultimately he's the most skilled guy in the position that we have on this, on this team for the three. But you just have to give him time because I'm hearing good things about him in practice and you're seeing it little by little. It's not an accident that he's getting minutes now, even though Grimes is hurt. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be tough for Grimes to come back and compete from this spot because Cam Reddish really is not playing bad. I think Cam's stats today, he had 14 minutes. He went 2 for 2. So he had 2 rebounds, 2 assists, and 7 points. But I thought the points that he got were timely, and I thought they were, you know, during the right moments. And he showed us again what he could do. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin is still around. You know, when he gets his opportunity, he's still finding ways to impact the game, whether it's in transition or just getting to the basket or timely three. You know, the kids got it, man. Like this unit now, and that's the second unit I'm talking about. You know, if you look in between quickly and Obi, you know, quickly Obi and then usually Cam also, there's still a dangerous lineup, even though I think it's mostly Cam that has to lead that unit and then Obi follows and then quickly is kind of there to make timely hoops as he can. You know, we don't need quickly to do anything crazy, but we need him to make the timely hoops so that we stay on track with that second unit. And Derrick Rhodes is also a part of that. You know, he did his thing a little bit more quiet from him today, but I don't mind that. You know, you don't need to do too much if you're in the second string. Just keep the lead up and keep these guys intact. That's all we really need. Other than that, did I mention everybody? Yeah, pretty much did. I mean, Julius Randle had a really good game again, 25 and 12. You know what I'm saying? Julius Randle has been fantastic. He's been fantastic. He's totally transformed himself. Again, I think he's even better than the Julius Randle of two seasons ago. And I think it has to do with holding people, people holding him accountable and really looking at him as, man, you, you can take over this team, man, whatever you want. You have the strength. You have everything to do it. You know, you just have to continue to just be consistent and make the smart plays when you need to. From there, everything will just fall into place, man. And it has. You know, he's, he's, I have nothing bad to say about Julius Randle, man. He's been excellent. He's been excellent. Um, I heart, Isaiah Hart's time, I, I, I kind of like him. Like, you know, 
I don't, he's not better than Mitchell Robinson for me, but I think he gives us something different, which is why Tibbs likes him, of course, with the shooting that he has. But I think, you know, like, I would prefer Mitchell Robinson to be in there most of the time, but I think with Hartstein, you just have a different dynamic that you get at center, which is why he still got the 18 minutes that he did. Um, yeah, no minutes today for Sims, unfortunately. It's going to be hard for him to find a spot on this team now. Uh, also... Um, we don't know the extent. Like, I don't know how long Grimes is still going to be out for. He has a foot injury, but hopefully Grimes can come back soon. You know, we got to wait and see what happens with that. Um, yeah. But other than that, I pretty much covered everybody. You know what I'm saying? 102-115, Knicks win. You know what I'm saying? We're doing what we do. This is what we do. We're closing our games. We're winning games that we wouldn't win last year. And we're moving on to the next now. I think we have... What's the next game we play? We play um, the Hornets next on Wednesday, so I'll be there for that. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of the game, man. Hey, man, we keep on rolling. This is New York basketball, man. By the way, I'm going to more games. Expect more vlogs coming soon. I'm definitely doing more vlogs. I, I enjoy doing that verse vlog, so I'm, I'm going to do another vlog, and we keep it rolling, man. It's your boy Donnie. Like, comment, subscribe, enjoy these videos, and I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace. I'm out.